As hard as it is to accumulate wealth, families have an even harder time keeping it. For example, Cornelius Vanderbilt did a good job of accumulating wealth. When he died in 1877, his heirs inherited the largest fortune ever accumulated. But by 1972, 120 of Vanderbilt's heirs gathered for a family reunion. There was not a single millionaire left among them. It only took 90 years for the largest inheritance ever to be lost, spent, or squandered. Is there a secret to keeping money in your family and keeping it growing from generation to generation? If there is, Mayor Rothschild knew the secret. When Rothschild died in 1822, instead of dividing his fortune amongst his heirs, he left his money in a family bank. The Rothschild's family bank had one simple rule. Any member of the family could take out a loan from the family bank, but it had to be repaid with interest. If a family member wanted to get an education, start a business, or invest in an asset, he could go to the family bank and borrow the money that he needed. But when he graduated from college, got his business up and going, or sold the asset that he'd invested in, he had to pay back the family bank. How successful was Rothschild's in keeping and growing the family's fortune? Current estimates are that the Rothschild's fortune is worth between $1 trillion and $100 trillion. That means if the Rothschilds got together for a family reunion, there could be a million family members in attendance and every one of them could be a millionaire. How would you like to build a private family bank and keep your family's wealth growing from generation to generation?